The goal in cataract surgery is to remove the cataract, a clouding of the natural lens, leave its support system in place, and into that insert an artificial implant. Let me take you through a real surgery. A side port incision is created. Viscoelastic, a gel-like material, is used to maintain the eye pressure, and a self-sealing incision is made. A capsulorexis is a circular opening in the front of the capsule that allows the surgeon to access the cataract without disrupting the support system into which an artificial implant will eventually be inserted. In hydrodissection, Fluid is gently irrigated between the capsule and the cataract, separating them and allowing the cataract to rotate so that it can be broken up into fragments. Phacoemulsification is a sophisticated ultrasound technology that allows the surgeon to break the cataract up into segments for removal. The nucleus, the central part of the cataract, is first divided into two. The cataract is then rotated and divided into smaller fragments. The cataract fragments are removed with a specialized fluid and the ultrasound energy of phaco emulsification. The final fragment is now being phaco emulsified. The main part of the cataract, the nucleus, is now removed but the outer coat, the cortex, still remains. The cortex is aspirated with a smaller handpiece that uses specialized irrigation fluid. The capsule is filled with viscoelastic, a gel-like material that maintains the eye pressure and a one-piece artificial IOL implant is folded and inserted into the eye through the small 2.2 millimeter incision. The implant unfolds and opens inside the capsule the natural support system of the eye that will keep the implant centered in place. The viscoelastic the supporting material used during the case is now removed with aspiration and irrigation fluid. An antibiotic can be injected at the end of the case. The wounds are well sealed, the eye is nicely pressurized, and the case is completed successfully.